for today I have a tutorial on this plum burgundy look. It's very perfect for fall and I am super happy with how it turned out. This is a true Emma look and I just love it. I can go this all the time. This is my signature dark side look. I really love it and I hope you will love it as much as I do. So if you want to see how I created this look, just please keep on watching. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to prime my face uh, as I normally do. And today I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. And this is the Smoothing Primer. To cover up red areas and red spots in my face, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this is the light medium color. And to blend that concealer in, I'm gonna use my Damped Beauty Blender. Today I'm finally gonna buy some new skincare products. So I hope I will get better skin. It's a series for acne skin. I have really big problems with acne scars. I get them super easily and to prevent to get acne scars, I will try to get rid of the acne and the pimples in my face so I don't get the scars. So I cannot wait to try it and to get rid of all my pimples and acne and acne scars. For foundation today I'm gonna use my absolute favorite foundation. I was gonna say concealer, but this is my all time favorite foundation. And it is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. And this is for normal to oily skin. And since I am oily, this is perfect for me. Uh, and this is the shade 220. So I can only use this bad boy when I'm tanned but I will try to get a lighter shade. So this foundation is perfect for you who has oily skin and this is mattifying and pore minimizing. So I love this foundation. And I'm gonna mix it with a one drop from the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. Uh, and this is the shade G20. So these Cover FX Drops is pure pigment and this will add some cover to my foundation. And then I'm going in with the concealer to cover some dark spots in my face. And this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer covers everything. I absolutely love this concealer. It's my all-time favorite. I don't know what kind of problem my skin have with winter, but I get really bad skin and I get really dark circles under my eyes and I don't know what the problem is, but I have to cover those bad boys up. So for color correcting under my eyes, I'm gonna use the NYX color correcting palette and I'm gonna use the shade down to the right and it's a more orange toned concealer. And to conceal my under eye area, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again. And you know what it's time for, Beauty Blender. To prevent the concealer from creasing, I'm gonna bake under my eyes using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm also gonna bake around my mouth because when I'm smiling, I get those cute little lines around my mouth. So I'm gonna bake that shit together. While the powder is baking and doing its magic, I'm gonna do my eyebrows off cam because I'm gonna do a brow routine video here on my channel soon. So I don't wanna 
show you or I want to show you how I do my brows in a separate vi video. So I want to do a separate video on my brow routine instead because it's take a while to do them. So yeah, I'm gonna do them off cam and I'm gonna do a brow routine video here on my channel soon. Moving on to eyes and I have zoomed you in a bit so you can see what I'm doing on my eyes. So you may know from the title but today I'm gonna use the oh so beautiful Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. This palette is gorgeous. I love this palette. I am using it on a daily basis. There are some neutrals, you have some shimmers. It's the perfect palette. And I love reds and pinks and mauves. So this is this is the perfect palette for me. So the first color I'm gonna use is this gorgeous mauve lilac pink shade. It's beautiful and it's called Buen Fresco. I think you pronounce it in that way, but correct me if I'm wrong. And to blend that in, in my crease, I'm gonna use the Morphe MB23 brush and with my Morphe MB25 brush I'm gonna dip into this red pink shade which is called Manitine Red I'm going back in with the Morphe MB23 brush and the Buen Fresco color from the palette and I'm gonna blend those two colors together. I think I'm gonna do a halo look. I'm gonna deepen my outer and inner corners using the Love Letter color which is a gorgeous pink color. And I'm gonna connect those two corners with each other. So I'm gonna build a bridge in the crease. I take the same brush and the color Cypress Umber, this gorgeous dark brown shade to deepen my inner and outer corner even more. On the center of my eyelids, I'm gonna use the Lime Crime Super Foiled Eyeshadows and I'm gonna use this pink shade uh, which is called In Fuite. I do not speak French, so I have no idea how to pronounce that but I will write the color down below. To make the Super Foil Eyeshadow top, I'm gonna spritz my brush with some Fix Plus And then I'm gonna go back in with the love letter color from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm gonna blend in the super foil eyeshadow with the mattes. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna use the Buen Fresco color first on my Morphe M506 brush. And then I'm gonna take an even smaller brush and this is the Morphe M326 brush and it is very tiny and I'm gonna go in with the Love Letter shade. For lashes today I'm gonna use the Your Lashes in the style Viola and these are very wispy and super super gorgeous. Now it's time to beat up this face and I'm gonna start to do some contour and for that I'm gonna use the complicated shadow from Makeup Geek and this is a contour shade and it's a cool medium shade. And to apply the contour I'm gonna use the Sigma Soft Angle Contour Brush and this is the F23 brush. I'm gonna do a light contour on my nose as well and then I'm gonna use the Bad Habit shadow from Makeup Geek and my favorite nose contouring brush is the Morphe M333 brush. To 
clean up my contour a bit, I'm gonna use the Sigma F89 Bake Kabuki brush and this is a new brush from Sigma uh, which is made for baking so I will use this today And to bake around my nose, I'm gonna use the P89 brush from Sigma. And meanwhile the powder is baking, I'm gonna use my Benefit Shigathon palette for blush and bronzer. So I'm gonna use the Hula bronzer with my Morphe M402 brush. For blush I'm gonna use the color Dandelion. Moving on to highlighter and today I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek Kathleen Light Highlighter Palette and I'm gonna use the color Sunlight which is this golden highlight. It is so beautiful and I think it will go perfectly with this eye look. And I am applying the highlighter with my favorite highlighting brush and it is the Morphe M510 brush. And for lips today, I'm gonna use my new Anastasia Bell Hills liquid lipstick in the color Sad Girl. So guys, that was it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I am super happy with the result and how this look turned out. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!